If you're like me, when you get angry and frustrated and annoyed, it can send you into this downward spiral and really affect your mental health. And I've been dealing with some stuff lately that I wanna talk about because the way I improve my mental health is by remembering what Gandhi said, which is be the change that you want to see in the world. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. Like I have struggled with a lot of mental health issues throughout the years and I'm doing all right now. So I try to give what I can back to all of you to teach you how you can improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. So let's talk real quick. I always say at the beginning of my videos, we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. I have a billion reasons why I say this, and one of them is the topic of today. When, when something happens to me, that affects me, I can sit in that problem, I can build anger, I can build resentments when people don't treat me right, and I can sit there in that problem, but that doesn't help me at all. That doesn't help you at all. So what do I do to get into the solution? So I love that quote about, be the change that you want to see in the world. So one of my biggest fears, right, is being a hypocrite, okay? And how hypocritical is it of me to not like how others treat me, but then treat other people in that same way? You know what I mean? So to give you some context, I'm gonna talk about some YouTuber problems real quick. And, you know, I hope most of you who have been around for a while and you know me, you know my intentions are pure. So one of the reasons I wanna grow this channel and just the only reason why that subscriber number even matters to me is because every subscriber is somebody who I might be able to reach to help them out with their mental health so they don't have to go through the struggle and the torment that I went through. And reading your guys' comments, like please keep leaving comments, they they make my day. I, I love it so much. I just read a comment about how a, a, a woman was like, you know, watching your videos has helped me take responsibility for my mental health. And I'm like, yes, yes, I'm getting through to people. So anyways, I, I'm trying to grow this channel and something, you know, that I do like, I try to get in touch with other people. Like, I'm all about building friendships and a community and things like that. So I reach out to other YouTubers and something that has always been a pet peeve of mine, even though like, I don't know, depending on your opinions, like it's needed, but social hierarchies, right? Like I, I, I lived a long time where I was constantly comparing myself to others of either better than or less than, better than or less than. Am I better than you I'm, or am I less than you? Am I better than you or less than you, right? And you see it in the YouTube community. You might even see it at work. You might see it in different social settings and all sorts of stuff. So anyways, I reach out to other YouTubers and obviously I'm still pretty small, even though I just hit 10,000, but like I reach out to other YouTubers and they don't even give me the time of day. And that's actually what I was dealing with yesterday. Um, I'm not going to name names or anything like that, but there are certain YouTubers who I've reached out to and they just don't even acknowledge my existence. And it frustrates me, it infuriates me, and I start to get angry about it. But like, there's only so much I could do, right? And real quick, like, I try to be empathetic, okay? Like, I'm busy. I'm gonna make a video soon because I don't think any of you truly understand, unless you really know me, how busy I actually am. But I understand that other people are busy. I know it's hard to follow up on DMs and emails and stuff. Like, I am small and I get a ton of messages and DMs. By the way, start tweeting at me at the Rewired Soul over on Twitter. Like, that's a great way to get a hold of me. Like, I'm, I'm loving that people are actually tagging me in tweets and stuff, like it's a really easy way to do it. I'm actually starting to like Twitter even though I made a video the other day about how Twitter sucks. But anyways, so I empathize with these other YouTubers who don't get back to me, but like I try to take every experience as a learning experience. So when I look at that, when I look at somebody who I am frustrated with, right? When they do something that annoys me, I'm like, what can I do to be a difference? What can I do to be the change? And that's important too, because I could take this experience, I could let it jade me and corrupt me, so then as I get bigger, when other smaller YouTubers reach out to me, I can be like, 
No, nobody helped me out, right? And like, what's that do? It just keeps this perpetual cycle of negativity and everything like that. So when I see what they're doing and I don't like it, I try to be the change that I wanna see in the world, which is why I try to collaborate with people, other small YouTubers and things like that. Like, I am growing and I want to help lift other people up because I don't wanna become that person. And my girlfriend is beautiful as well as amazing and she keeps me in check, like when she sees me ranting and raving and stuff like that. She's like, well, just so you know, when you get bigger, I'm gonna call you out if you do that. I'm like, ugh, but I need that. I need people to call me out on that. So like, by the way, down in the description below, I'm gonna list some smaller mental health YouTube channels. They're my friends and I love them and you really need to go check out, check them out. Subscribe to them, they do a lot of what I do. Like, I vouch for people who stay in the solution. So like, maybe you get tired of my voice or my face. Like, I have a bunch of people down below, like Kay from Bipolar Pug, Kalayla from Post Traumatic Victory, Charlie from Authentic Mental Health, Ryan, who's from Ryan Liberty channel and a bunch of other channels down below. So make sure you check them out, subscribe, like let's support this mental health community, okay? But you know, in, in a broader aspect, cause I know not all of you are YouTubers, like how can this help you? Like for example, you know, when I was struggling with my mental health a lot, like it used to really bother me that nobody asked me how I was doing. So I try to be the change I wanna see in the world. So I make it a point, I make it a point to check in with people and see how they're doing. And I follow up with them. I am all over the place and I have a terrible memory sometimes. Something I do is I use my cell phone. I literally set up reminders in my cell phone. Like if my friend said they're struggling with depression or anxiety or you know stress or whatever it is, I'll set a reminder for two days from now, follow up with that person because that's something that I didn't like that other people didn't do for me. People didn't check in on me. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you don't like how people treat you, you better make dang sure that you don't treat other people that way. Like, hypocrisy is just the bane of my existence and I work so hard. So if you guys ever see me uh, being a hypocrite, make sure you call me out on it because something that a lot of us lack at certain points is self-awareness. We don't even realize what we're doing. And like I said, it just spreads negativity and toxic relationships and so much stuff. So we gotta call each other out on it in a loving, kind, compassion way, all right? But, you know, I just really wanted to make this video and just kind of use some life experience. Like, those of you who are new to my channel, I'm not a drama channel or anything like that. I'm about helping you out with your mental health. And when something really affects me and I overcome it mentally, like, I'd like to hop on here and share with you some of my knowledge, or even if you want to call it wisdom, about how I get out of that funk and improve my mental health. So let's do this. Let's do this down in the comments below. Like, let me, let me know one of your pet peeves, right? Something that annoys you, something that angers you, something that bugs you, whether it's with a friend, a family member, society, whatever it is, let me know something that bothers you and let me, let me know and let everybody else know what's the change that you're going to make, right? To change the world, okay? Let's have a conversation down below. But that's all I got for you today. I have an exciting announcement coming up soon, so make sure that you stay tuned, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. Make sure you click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. These are people who are helping to support me spreading a message of hope to anybody struggling with mental illness, so I thank you so much, all right? So thanks again for everybody who watched this. Be the change you wanna see in the world, and I'll see you next time.